Hey everyone, today I wanna to talk to you guys about the Snap Mat feature. It is a great feature on the Cricut Design Space app that will help with um, lining things up, using your scraps, uh, cutting everything on one mat, even though it's the same color. So I just wanna show you guys how to use it today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make one inch circles. I selected my edit um, toolbar down at the bottom and I, can change my dimension. So I'm gonna make one inch circles. I don't need them that big, so I'm gonna make a bunch of scraps. Now I have six different colors that I wanna to use today. So I'm going to go to the actions um, tab down at the bottom, and I'm gonna duplicate this six times. Now I'm going to show you what I like to do if you are using an SVG that is multiple different colors what, um, and you want to cut on one mat. You need them all to be the same color to cut them on one mat, but you can do this um, using snap mat. So I'm going to show you here, I'm going to go to my layers panel down at the bottom and I'm going to change all of these to um, the colors that I have on my mat. I have six different colors. So I'm going to change it to match my colors on the mat, and I'm gonna show you how I work this so that you can, there we go, so that you can cut this all on one mat, but remember what colors you had. Um, it can be a little tricky sometimes, so what I like to do is go ahead and change, keep all the colors. So if you already have an SVG, it's already in the colors. I'm going to drag a box around everything and select it all. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to select the duplicate button, which is under our actions tab. I'm going to, whoops. I'm going to, if you press and hold uh, each item, it's going to select them since I deselected that by accident. And I'm going to, uh, select group, which is also under our actions tab. I'm going to move this one to the side, go to my layers panel, and I'm going to select that group and hide it. Now I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to attach them and then detach them. That's just to make them all one color in one easy swoop. So now I'm going to hit make it. And in the bottom left-hand corner here, we have snap mat. So we're gonna select that, and it will give you some instructions here. Position mat closely to frame edge. The app will scan it automatically. Mount material on mat and hold device parallel to the mat. If you have any questions in the upper right-hand corner, there's that little eye in the circle. It's just going to tell you to put it on a neutral background. I used my black countertop and just line it up. You'll notice those little bars that were there with the little dots will line it up for you, and it's automatically going to take a picture of your mat. Now I'm going to be cutting cardstock. That's why I have my my light grip blue mat. So once this is taken the picture, I'm going to press use in the upper right hand corner and then I can just go ahead and I can move my circles, select and move my circles wherever I want. Now this is exactly what my mat looks like. So it's going to cut these in the exact position of where I move them. Now the reason that most people like to do this is to use up scraps or just to cut on one mat because we all know it's much easier to cut on one mat. So I'm going to select continue I, my device is on. I think I'm just not close enough to it yet. So I'm going to move a little closer. I'm going to select my maker. And I'm going to load my mat while I wait for it to come up. I, um, like I said, I'm using light cardstock, so I'll select the, select the light cardstock setting and I will select cut. And then I'll come back with you guys and I will show you how it cut precisely in the exact spots that we wanted it to cut in. Okay, now that my cut has finished, I'm going to unload my mat. And I'm going to show you guys just how precisely it cut. It lined everything up exactly where I had it on the snap mat it over for you guys so you can see it. There we go. Can you see? So that's how you use the snap map feature.